I have just oh. been informed that I should be swearing a lot to you people. Son of a fucking bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Why in God's... Arr! And that's how I'm going to start the video. Hello, I am Grimwit from NatchEvil.com, and joining me today is my best friend, Chuck. Say hello, hey Chuck. Chuck, let me catch you up on what's going on, since you haven't... Hey. Uh, how, how far have you watched? Well, I can actually tell you. Um, yesterday, I watched the first three episodes of your... Let's play X Beyond the Frontier. Mm -hmm. um, it was very informative. I, I appreciated the the voice ins. It was it was good, um, but I I was feeling a little unfulfilled. So when I finished watching those three episodes, I watched Paint Dry for about an hour afterward, <laughs> and found it to be a lot more exciting. Um, well, I mean I mean no offense to you at all. It just bored me to tears. And and I'm sure it picks up further in. It does not, sir. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, please catch me up. Okay, um, right now I am on a quest by a... Uh, I am on a quest from a group of people calling themselves the Goners who believe in Earth but nobody else does. Which is actually quite mysterious because after I met the Goners and been to their Goner temple I don't know why people who believe they have the truth joined a religion for this, you think they'd be more like a, a conspiracy theory uh, nut group, but no, they're a religion now. Um, hmm. They told me that one of their ancient heroes, Mr. Argun, had hidden some kind of recorder or some kind of information in the split sector of the universe. So basically, this Argon went to the split, a a, an alien race that nobody likes talk to them in such a way to convince them to hide something in one of their asteroids. And uh, I think I'm going to have to blow that asteroid up. So that's where we're at now. In other words, a civilization of cultists has gone to great length to hide a very special item that you are now going to try to destroy and recover. Yes. That makes perfect sense. I know, doesn't it? It's yes. brilliant. Brilliant. All right, well, let's see here. I need to find East Gate. Uh, right now, I am just traveling. Also, you haven't seen it yet, but I've got this nifty grid I can project onto the world, which has no purpose other than being there. Well, that is nifty. You can play checkers. Hell, hold on, I'm counting the uh, I'm counting the number of squares, <laughs> and yes, I believe you are right. We can play checkers if we have enough ships. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have lots of ships, or no? I have ships? just the one. Okay, still just the one ship. Is it the same ship from the it, beginning? It is the same ship, which means it means that I've been looking at the same readouts for the last, oh, how many hours have I been playing? There we are. Alright, well, I uh, I should probably go ahead and tell everybody uh, that you are completely deaf to the game, nor, yes. nor can am, you see anything. I am the Helen Keller of this Let's Play. That's correct. You can't even and feel the controls. Wow. Chin's clouds. Well, we are now in Chin's Clouds, the Cloud of Chin's. Uh-oh, and, and I'm immediately under attack. On unknown Xenon ship. Okay, um, are you under attack for existing, or for attacking first, or are these the people oh. who are trying to guard this asteroid? God, no, they're just regular jerks. Oh, space jerks. Space jerks, in space. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've gotten very, very good at taking these guys down, not from skill, but from pure brute force. So your ship is like a giant punching bag arm? Uh, not a punching bag. I I actually have a magnificently powerful gun. Whoa. I, I do, however, miss very often. So right now we're in the midst of battle. Hear that, Chuck? I missed. Eh, that was a better oh. joke in my head. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna crash. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess, I in one way, I could describe to you what's happening. I'm flying a ship, and I'm about to crash. Okay, there we go. It's okay. I'm, I'm sure the, the other viewers will find it incredibly boring. Oh, 
or describing Dude. what you're doing as you do it. Dude, just kicked my ass! Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, it's real exciting because one of the problems is that my ship currently is faster than any known vehicle in the galaxy. So, I'm always just about to crash into these people, and I actually met somebody who's worth my match. Hello. Like, he's not just dying. <laughs> Most of these people just die. Oh, I cannot believe he survived that. What the heck? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. This is a lot more exciting uh, than the first three parts of the Let's Play. So, even just sitting quietly listening to you talk. Okay. Target, talk, on target now. Lost this guy has got to go down because he's friggin' bugging me. Now, they cannot destroy me, but what they can do is distract me. They can distract me from firing at their friends. What, are they juggling in the cockpit? No, they're... Hey, look at me! Look at me! Ooh. They, they shoot me, and that distracts me. I'm not even kidding. Okay. Alright, and... Every time you fight somebody... Uh, in this game. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Let me describe to you what's going on. Okay. Now, I told you that something is hidden in an asteroid in this this sector that I'm in now, in Chin's Cloud. Correct. There are about, uh, I want to say, 50 asteroids in this sector. And I have to check them. Can you simply scan them, or do you have to blow them up one at a time? No, I can scan them. That's no problem. Oh, the, good. The problem comes from the fact that there are 50 of them to scan. And I have no way of marking them to know that I have <laughs> finished scanning them. So... I thought you'd have a map that you could cross them off at least. Nope. I guess I will start working with latitude and longitude. I've I've got no idea. Okay, this. Behold this... the excitement of X Target beyond the frontier. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I have to turn off friggin' verbose mode. Verbose mode gives you descriptions of whatever it is you're scanning or looking at. So, Navi. Pretty much Navi. Only far sexier voice. Really? Yeah. She she doesn't just say, "Hey, listen." So Navi's a bit older, a bit wiser. Target well, now locked on asteroid. It's the future. <laughs> you say that so matter of fact. It's like, well, of course, Chuck. <laughs> Why didn't I catch I guess, that off the bat? Okay, I have finished with the first two. Target now locked okay, on asteroid. Okay, at least like mine them for ore or something. Silicon wafers. Uh. I cannot mine these for anything just yet because, one, I don't have the money, and two, that would take a ton of time to go to a shipyard. <laughs> it's just, it's so ridiculous. It's like, oh my god, why did you do this? Why is this so grind heavy? I can look it up. Yes, please do. Who made this game? And how can I email them and ask them why their game Target is so no, friggin' grind heavy? Asteroid. Okay, Next who Beyond the Frontier, circa 1999, is a video game created by Egosoft for Windows. It's the first of the X series. It is a space trading and combat Target simulator game mostly on. set Asteroid. in the fictional X universe. I, why did they have to or... say it was fictional? I don't know. <laughs> no, friends. What you're looking at right now on your screen is live action. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, future, man. The future will be in relatively low quality. And... Um, you're going to have a lot of verbose mode, apparently. <laughs> Would you like to know your name? Sure. Wow, wait, I have a name? Yes. What's my name? Uh, this is set in the year 2912. Silicon and Wafers. you are taking the role of Kyle Brennan. Am I a descendant of Temperance Brennan from the TV show Bones? Unfortunately, that is not here. But this is Wikipedia, so I'm going to go ahead and write that in. So, yes. Just go in there and edit the Wikipedia article and say, 
Uh, descendant of Temperance Brennan of Bones fame. So what else do we know about this ship? Um, it is called the X Paramental Shuttle. Uh, oh! Paramental. That's terrible. It's the only ship in the known universe that can jump via a wormhole without requiring a jump gate. Did you know that this game has an expansion pack? Yes, it's called X-Tension, and yeah. I actually own that as well. Ah. Uh, this one is ore, 25 units, which is actually they, pretty good. They enjoy the X puns. <laughs> Chuck, have you seen yeah. the room? So how's your sex life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I can't I can't get into the room stuff. I just let's stay focused. Let's stay focused on beyond the frontier. Yes, uh, beyond the how, front. How many asteroids have you scanned? <laughs> let's see. I have now scanned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I've skipped two. That's all. <laughs> and oh, there are roughly fifty of apart, these. Mike. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Have I already scanned that asteroid? Crap. Crap on a crap cracker. I don't know. There's nothing to differentiate these asteroids at all. No. They all look exactly alike. The only thing that makes them different is their location. So you're playing an enormous shell game. Gotcha. Chuck, I want you right now to look up a walkthrough. It is not on Game Facts. I've already checked. You'll have to Google it. I want you to look up a walkthrough and tell me which friggin' asteroid it is that I have to go through, because otherwise I will be here all day, and I, do, I am losing patience with this game, man. And okay. you know me, I'm a patient man. You are a very patient man. I went through friggin' amnesia. Well, you did have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to resort to drinking for this game, too. Um, I've got one from the Ecosoft forum. Okay, I got it. You do? Yes. Where is it? The rock you want is north and west of the center of your map, just north of the trading station. And I don't know what any of that means. I do. Okay. All right, it there's says, the trading station. It says there is also a yield 64 silicon asteroid Holy. that you should put a mine on. Holy crap, yield 64? That's freaking insane! It's the northeasternmost asteroid is the one with that. Well, that's, but that's fine if I'm... Uh, too much. Uh, I've started to cheat, so I don't even really care at this point. <laughs> ah, I found it! I could mine this for 26 silicon wafer yield, or I could just blow it out of the sky, and I'm going to blow it out of the sky. It says it's a yield 64, but okay. No, 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 that's a different asteroid. I need to get close enough. I need to get actually within range. So, all right. Wait, you you have to get close to the asteroid to blow it up? Yeah. Why? You have missiles, right? I remember that from the beginning. Yeah, I do, but the missiles don't have an infinite range, Chuck. Okay, it's and they lied. It is directly to the east of the uh, trade station, in the middle of this friggin' place. Oh, well, I got you close. Yeah, I'm getting in pretty well, close. I didn't get you close. You're going to have to thank someone named Nightwatch. Nightwatch, thank you very much. I don't even mind that the word twat is in your name. You it's have bad. to go there. I... <laughs> well, it's not a bad word in America, right? <laughs> hey, we're scanned by people. It's a... You can fly on. You're clean. Oh, it says I'm clean. Cool. Let's see how happy he is whenever I start throwing missiles at this uh, at this asteroid. Nah. Oh well, screw it. Let's see what happens. I can't see what happens. Either. No. Jerk. I'm... Okay. That did nothing. You deserve that. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to get this out. So, I'm getting a little bit closer, and I'm just going to unload everything. Oh, wow, did you know missiles could crash into each other? In all of space. <laughs> You've managed um, 
to crash one tiny object into another tiny object. Well, you can actually shoot missiles out so fast that they crash right into each other. All right, guys, everybody listen up. We've just installed the new rocket launcher. Uh, now, the way that we're going to do this is the first rocket's going to set out at a certain speed. Got it? Yeah, I got it, sir. I got it. Good, good, good. Uh, the second rocket, now this is the most important part, so get your notebooks handy. You need to fire the second rocket at a slightly faster speed than the first. Um, alright, why? It says right here in the specifications that's the way it's got to be done. we got to get it done by Monday. Go on, go, go, go. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yeah, yes, you there in the corner. Let's say for a point of, uh, just, just for hypothetical, what if... The second missile crashes into the back of the first missile. Wouldn't they both explode, doing damage to the ship that fired it? Hmm. Uh, that's actually a really good point. And to compensate for this, I want you to make sure that the third missile is traveling even faster than the first two. Right, so it goes through the explosive clouds of the first two. Yeah, that's going to cancel everything out. So, good luck, guys. Have fun. Let's green like this, you brilliant man! <laughs> okay, I'm I'm just gonna crash. And scene. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna, just gonna crash into this fucking asteroid. No, no, don't kill. How does it? How does the walkthrough say to open this up? What am I supposed to do? Attention. You need a you Hornet know. missile to break up the asteroid when you find it, which is a fact that they do not tell you when they send you there. Wait a but second. You have to go all the way back to pick one up <sighs> if you don't have a Hornet missile already. Uh, that's something I actually had planned to do, but I couldn't buy because the Pyranid people, the only people who sell the horn... Oh my god! You're telling me I have to go all the way back to the other side of the galaxy. Um, this episode is over. <laughs> <laughs>